I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the 2024 National Mahjong League card. I call this exercise Charleston Modeling. The purpose is to practice decision-making through the Charleston, which is where you have an opportunity to transform your dealt hand. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do this exercise three times. We'll alternate between dealer and non-dealer, so we'll get 14 tiles, then 13, and then 14. And I'm going to create a mock Charleston with no jokers for each one. Jokers, flower, dragons, west, four nine in cracks, one four seven in bands with a pair of fours, six nine in dots. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would start right here. Target, multiples. This would allow you to optimize hand development. Target multiples. Then with the rest of the tiles, I'd keep the four, probably the dragons and the flower. Fours, in like numbers with fours, there is news. And I probably would stop there. We do have a one, but without a two, three, that's not going to be helpful. However, we do have a corresponding dragon. So maybe keep that. We do have tiles we can pass. So that's how I would start. Target multiples. We got a two. One, two. We still have no three. That would be a gap. I would pass those three See if we can get a three ban in here. Well, we got a flower and a dragon. Here's a five. We have consecutive run. That is the most efficient category on the card. You can streamline and leverage efficiency with a full range of numbers, one through nine, most of the hands use four numbers in a range, so I'd focus around the four. I think at this point, since we have a pair of flowers, I would let the west go. With a pair of flowers, I would probably still focus on like numbers. Let's see here. The dragon, pair dragon, one, two, dragon. So maybe let those go. Okay, let's see. Can't keep it all. Whoa. Please don't pass pair. That is very risky. Look, fit right in. We can do two bam, use these for the gap, which is not ideal. Two, three, four, five, dragon. Let's pass these three. It's getting a bit tight here. No keepers. I'm almost relieved. A three. Now we have no gap. We're going to the right. I would pass one blind. There it is. No keepers. I would not pass flower. It's pretty risky, but we can get two. No keepers. Two discards, joker bait, and a hand with no gaps. Wow. We need a pair here. We could pung, pung. There's a pair. And kong. Oh no, that's not right. 
pear, pear, pung, pung, kong. We can use these anywhere in here. These are the pears. I think I was thinking about last year's card. Three, four, five. We could maybe still play three, four, five and use that as joker bait. We could get to a pretty quick win with these and that hand. I think I would just stay flexible. Discard those and don't pick a hand. We're also using most of our tiles so we're maximized and we're streamlining. This would be a power play. Optimized because we focused on the pair. Maximized because we're using most of our tiles and we're streamlined because we're playing consecutive run. That's the power play. If you would have done something differently, write pull one in the comment section below and let me know what you would have done with these tiles. Joker, South, Red, three dot, two, three, eight in bands, pair eight, but here's a nine, two, two, three, eight, nine, four, six, eight in cracks, and then an eight dot. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I'd start here, eight. We do have two, four, six, eight in here. I wouldn't pick a hand. I wouldn't even look at the card. This would be using most of our tiles. We're optimized because we're targeting the multiple and we're using most of our tiles, so we're maximized. So then I would probably split out the threes and that's where I would start. We got an eight. We still don't have to pick a hand. We're just gonna keep gathering. No keepers. Let's see here. Oh, three band nine and one suit. That's a bit risky. No keepers. I would pass that. There's a four. All right, two, four, six, eight. Here's tiles we can pass. A two, two, four, six, eight, and one suit. We're on last right. We have a pair of eights and an eight. There is a hand we could maybe play the concealed hand. We need a pair of flowers though. Let's pass the two. Let's see if we can benefit from the generosity of another player. No, not this time. Okay, two, three, let's pass these. No keepers. So we have two, four, six, eight with eights. If I were to have to pick a hand, I'd play two, four, six, eight, pung, pung, kong, kong, first hand. Use this as joker bait, discard that. Four discards with joker bait, but I wouldn't pick a hand. I would see about maybe getting flowers and try for that concealed hand. That would be really nice. If you would have done something differently with these tiles, write pull two in the comment section below the video and let me know what you would have done.
Choker, Dragons, White, Red, Pair North, Six Crack, Eight Crack Pair, One, Three, Four, Seven in Dots, Pair One, Pair Seven. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would focus on the multiples. North, eight, one, seven. What can you do here? A quint. Right there. One, eight, or seven, eight. We do have seven, eight, so I would probably hold the six. Pass those three. Seven. Six, seven, eight, seven, eight. South, white. I would break these up. Focus on sevens. Six, seven, eight. That's a little risky. Corresponding dragon with a one. We may be playing a quint, but look, oh my gosh, we got a pair, pair of fours. That's random. Four, six, eight. So we have a one, north, seven, four, six, seven, eight, eight. I think I would give up on the quint. It was a long shot, fun idea, but this is much better. If we can get a five crack, we can do four, five, six, seven. If we get a nine, we could do six, seven, eight, nine. If we get a two, we could do two, four, six, eight. Well, there's a flower and an eight and another eight. Okay, so I would reassess. Anytime you develop a bigger multiple or a multiple altogether, reassess. So here we have eights and a north. We could do like numbers with eights and news. We could still maybe do two, four, six, eight if we get a two. That's a big if. We do have a seven though. We could do six, seven, eight, one suit with flowers. But I would not pass a pair. Where we did right across left, we're on second left. We have to, we have to make a choice. I would let the north go and break up the four. No keepers. This is going to be a little risky, so I would probably keep the dragon. A flower. Like numbers with sevens. Six, seven, eight, flower. Since we don't have an eight dot for like numbers, I'd break this up and pass those three. Focus on six, seven, eight, flower. No keepers. Well, look what we got. Wow. Options. Seven, seven, eight, six, seven, eight. One discard. And lots of options. I would still probably focus on six, seven, eight, flower, joker bait, discard those. We could Kong here. Kong here. We just need to build right there. We could even maybe do the quint. Quint here. Pair here, quint here. That would be more of a long shot. If you would have done something differently with these tiles, write pull three in the comment section below and let me know what you would have done with these tiles.
Joker flower, pair red. North and south, pair two band, five eight, pair two dot, six crack. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I'd focus on the twos. Maybe like numbers. There is news in like numbers and that leaves us with three tiles to pass. A two. Now we have no gaps. Look at that, we have two, three, four with twos. Maybe we could even try for a year hand no white dragon, so we're going to let those go. Now we have to make a choice. Twos with flowers, twos with news, or twos with dragons. Since we only have one dragon, even though it's a pair, I would break that up. Focus on news or flowers. This is a little risky, but this looks really good. Whoa, eights, oh my gosh, that's, that's terrible. Let's see, <laughs> this is going to be another really risky pass. Oh my goodness, <laughs> look at these dragons. Oh, okay, so now, oh boy, all right, so we have north, south, dragons, twos. I would let these go. Here we go. We got a four. Okay, look, this, this can go right here. Part of me is thinking maybe we could do a year hand, but still no white dragon. Oh, flower. All right then. Looking better. Well, there's the white dragon. But look, we got a two, two discards. Let's see, twos, almost news. Or we can do like numbers with twos and flowers. I think I would pass two. Two discards, two hands, no gaps. Well, you might think east and west would be a gap, but it's not. This is a block of four, and we have two of four tiles. I would call that a weakness, not a gap. So I think that was a really good Charleston. If you would do something differently with these tiles, write pull four in the comment section below the video, and let me know what you would do with these tiles. Flower, northwest red, three, five, six, seven, and cracks. One, two, eight, bam, pair, six dot pair. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I'd start here, 6-8. Six, 6-8 eight. Six, eight are even tiles. We do have another 6 and a 2, but we have no 4, so I would want options. We could maybe play 5-6-7 consecutive run. We could target the multiples and optimize, use most of our tiles, maximize, Streamline with consecutive run. So probably I would let the winds go and pass something like that. Two, four, six, eight, if we get a four, or streamline, five, six, seven, eight.
streamline. Still no four, five, six, seven, eight. And I wouldn't pick a hand. We do have a nine there, but with the six in a different suit, probably the nine will go. I think what I would do is pass these three. You know what I was just thinking now? We may have an option for three, six, nine. Let's keep the three for a bit and pass those. Okay, we got a five and a six. We have a south, one discard. So this is when you pick a hand or a couple hands to whittle out discards. We need two more. We have five, six, 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 five, six, seven, six, eight. I think I would let three, six, nine go. If we had a six ban in here, I would not. I'd focus on three, six, nine. But the sixes with the three, nine are not really gelling. I would much rather streamline and play five, six, seven, eight. Flower, so I would focus there. Flower, six, 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 seven, eight, six, seven, eight, mix suit Kongs. Let's let this five go. Seven dot, we have two discards. So here we have six, seven, five, six, seven, eight, and an eight. There's a hand in here with no gaps, right here. Six, seven, eight. We also have six, seven, eight. So we have six, seven, eight, two ways. Six, six, eight, four, five, four, five, six, Four, five, six, ooh. Four, five, six, eight, eight. Oh no, that's the wrong suit. Never mind. Back that up. Okay. Here. Six, seven, eight, or six, seven, eight. Five, six. I think I'd almost rather keep the eight and let these go. That was a tough one. Oh, here's a seven and a six and a nine. Look at that. All keepers. Six through nine. We're on last right. Right across left, left across right. Okay, so now we reassess flowers. We have multiples. Let's just pull the multiples here. Six, six, eight. Here's a six. We could do like numbers. We could still maybe do six, seven, eight in two uh, mixed suits. Six, seven, eight. Six, seven, eight. Or like numbers with sixes. Let's see here. We do have another option. Six, seven, eight. Six, seven, eight. There's some potential for that nine, nine, eight pair hand, but only one nine. I wouldn't focus on that. All right, I think we're stretched a little thin. So I think what I would do is probably let that go. Six, seven, eight, six, seven, eight. We did not use these two. Like numbers with sixes, I would keep that. So now we have our pass. Use a process of elimination. This is a little risky though, but we have lots of options. Okay, now here's a five. Five, six, six, no, that's not helpful. I would pass these. Five, 
Oh, we got the eight back and the nine. All right. Oh, there's a north. Like numbers with sixes with news. We could do six, seven, eight. Six, seven, eight. Let's see here. Oh my goodness. I just noticed another hand. Six, seven, six, seven, eight, concealed. There's lots of options with this one. Let's see, we really didn't use these. I think I would discard those and gather. Don't pick a hand till you run out of discards. If you would do something differently with these tiles, write poll five in the comment section below and let me know what you would do with these tiles. I like to call the Charleston a pre-game hand development accelerator. I call it that because this is where you have opportunities to transform your dealt hand before East discards the first tile to start the game. Remember to optimize by targeting multiples. Maximize by using most of your tiles. And look for opportunities to streamline by playing consecutive run. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.